talking again. <clears throat> okay, so I, I wanted to finish off with one topic that might set the internet on fire. Oh boy! Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, but I'm interested. Like, you got to but I'm in, but I'm interested in, in your opinion. So, you know, Elastic Audio is all about warping audio samples, isn't it? So, to my mind, the more samples that you have in the signal, the better the 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 the, 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 the more integrity that the audio is going to have when you're warping it. So, mm -hmm. one of the advices from uh, from the Avid course was to record at 32 bit you're going to get a better stretch um, a better audio integrity if you record at 32 bit float um, and i'd also add in that if you're recording at some of the higher sample rates as well that would also maintain some of the audio integrity too am i right i've heard the sample rate part i haven't heard about the bit depths affecting it mm -hmm. um yeah, I mean, they, remember the 32-bit audio has has a 24-bit Mantis anyways. Yes. Um, so it, it's not that different um, from 24-bit audio. Mm. Um, but but certainly, um, if you if you feel like you're going to have uh, a session that, that you're going to be stretching or compressing, mm. especially stretching, um, I, I will, I, you know, it's just another reason why I generally record at 96. Yes, exactly the same. And same thing I... I Re uh, recommend that all of my students record at 20 at least 24 bit uh, and maybe at least 90 mm. 96 and that there are a couple of other reasons as well none of them yes. to do necessarily with with what you hear <laughs> which is always the argument when you bring up uh, sample rates is well i can't hear any difference as well you know that's not always the reason um but i i think a lot of uh, today um a ma maybe a majority of sessions maybe i'm paint painting with a very broad brush but a majority of sessions are going to include some element of time stretching whether or, or sample stretching whether it be pitch or whether it be quantizing the and and sample rate selection and bit depth selection is all about adding more samples in on the x and y axes right and and giving more data into the sample so if to my mind if you've got more data in those in that sample capture your you're going to have you're going to be able to maintain the integrity of your audio um, for longer let's let Those the are internet, true. let's just yeah, let the internet explode there but the, <laughs> the, and also the 32-bit floating point is something that is in both of the expert courses uh, mm. so it's uh, it's coming directly from the source directly from avid yeah yeah 